I'm Dan Galusha and welcome to another edition of Shoot and Plank. As you can tell, it's cold out here. I got my mittens on, but I'm going to have to be taking them off because what we're going to do is we're going to shoot the Daisy Powerline 35 again. And this is part two of the test and evaluation. And this time what we're going to do is we're going to shoot from 25 yards and we're going to be shooting at our plinking metal up here and see what it does. Like I said, I'm going to go back 25 yards and I'm going to use the BBs because that's what we use most of the time. I might put a pellet in, I don't know. But I've got loaded with BBs and this, of course, as I told you before, is a smooth bore, so it's perfect for BBs. Uh, we're also going to try it 50 yards. But right now, let's give it a shot at 25 and see if it'll work there. So I'm going to go back down here. I think you can see the target right there. Uh, right up there. And uh, we're going to bang away at that and see how it does. You don't need to fire too many rounds. If it hits, it hits. That's great. And we'll see what happens. So I'm going to head back here and then we're going to shoot. Uh, five pumps in that by the way to see what it do. I'm going to see if I can see where it hit. I don't know because I've hit it several times with a pellet. Okay, it looks like there's a couple of dents up there. Not too sure. What do you see? Uh, hang on. <laughs> it's slippery here even. I'm going to try to grab some plinking targets over here. Everything's frozen up pretty good. And then we're going to set those and see if I can hit those from 25. So let's go, ahead. Let's go at it. Yeah, I went over and got my storage compartment. Even that was frozen up a little bit. Uh, and what I did is I found a couple of cans and a, and a bottle. We'll try to shoot those from 25 yards. So I'm going to go back here again. Get you zoomed in a little bit though first. All right, I'm heading on back now. Okay, and I'll tell you, it is cold out here. My hands are freezing. I was going to shoot a pellet, but my hands are just too cold to put one in. Instead, I, we're going to go over the 50-yard range and try that, but I want to show you the cans first. And the last one, I was really having a lot of, as you can tell, my nose is even running. It's cold. Uh, the last one, I was having a little bit of a problem. I got to aim a lot lower because it's going up on that arch. In fact, it's going way up on the arch, and I'll show you here. Right them here. Both cans hit the same way, so I don't have to. Right up at the top. And I was aiming down here. And so I just cleared what I considered my bullseye and hit it up here. So you're going to be able to cl uh, plank from 25 yards, there's no doubt about that. You're just going to have to adjust your, your siding, which uh, I wasn't quite doing right. And plus, it's doggone cold. I couldn't even hardly pull the trigger back there. But uh, we're going to go over here to the 50 yard line and I'm going to take that banging target there, see how it'll do, and uh, we'll just take a look. I might even take some planking targets and set those up in front if I've got a spot to do it. I don't know. I haven't been over there this whole winter, so we're going to find out. And I'm going to leave you here and then come get you. Okay, here we are, 50 yards. i got it set up way up there as you can see. I'm going to zoom you in so you can see a little bit about maybe where this will hit. Uh, I got my gloves on for sure. My mittens cold. I'll zoom you on in. Got a new tripod, so it makes it a little bit different zooming it in, but it's got a nice tripod. What I'm going to do this time is we're going to put in 10 pumps because 50 yards, that's going to be a while. We're going to go for the metal first. Get my gloves down here, and we'll see if we can hit something there. Put a round in. By golly, 50 yards. She hit. We'll fire another one at it. In fact, what we're going to do is cut it short and see what it'll do at six pumps. Now, fell a little short. So, uh, 
fact, wait a minute. I'm going to put in... This is eight. You should never put any more than ten in these. This is eight pumps. Alright, it still fell short. So, we'll put in ten again. And see if that's what it takes. Yep, that's what it takes, 10 pumps. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna try some planking up there. <laughs> I really don't know how this is gonna work. So we'll go, we'll go with 10 pumps, and I'll try to get that middle bottle. I can see it better, I don't know. No, nope, didn't get it. Wonder if I can get a can. Try. Try to get the one over by the uh, by the metal. No. Nope. Must not have real good accuracy at this point. See if I can hit that doggone metal again. Maybe I can get an idea of what. I'm gonna go with less pumps again, see what I can do. Yep, I hit it. That was with less pumps. So, uh, I'm gonna try this time again for one of those in that bottle. I don't even know how many pumps I put in that time. Let me see if I can get it. I got the can. I was able to get the can. So, well, let's see what I can do on that bottle. I really couldn't see it right. This time I know I got 10 pumps, so maybe I can try to get that bottle. Now, in fact, I think what I did is maybe it aimed a little high. We'll find out. I don't really know where I'm hitting. I'm sure you guys do because you're zoomed in there. And uh, maybe we'll try that can over there on the right side and see if I can hit that. Yeah, I can see it a little better, I don't know. I don't even know how many pumps I got that time either. Now, I was able to get that can, that one can, that's about it. But I'm going to try with just five pumps. I think that's five. On that metal sign again. Yep, I was able to get that. So, uh, I mean, we can get those, but. Try it. That bottle's aggravating me. No, I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to waste your time with it. But we do know that this daisy, and hang on here, I'm going to get her back around here. My hands are freezing. Okay, I didn't hit the bottle. I didn't hit one can. I did get one can. Uh, it did reach 50 yards, we could see that. So, uh, and this is with BBs, I was not shooting pellets. And as I said, if I had the BBs out of there, I'd go ahead and load a pellet. Uh, but it's just too doggone hard to do it, because as I showed you in the other video, you have to pull this just part way back 
so that a BB will not load into it and then put your pellet in and shoot it that way. Uh, but as I said, I, to me, this is more, now like the Umarex NXG, that's more of a pellet gun, even though it's set up the same way to shoot BBs and pellets both. To me, it's more of a pellet gun because it has a rifled barrel. This one is a smooth barrel, and uh, by it having a smooth bore like that, that's more BBs. And so that's, that's what I'd rather shoot in it. So that's what I wanted to see is, will it reach 25 yards, which it did, and I was able to plink the targets off there, and will it reach 50 yards? Yes, it will. And plinking the targets, we might want to mess with it a little bit more. Now, if it's warmer weather, it, this thing might shoot even different yet. And I'm sure it would, and you know, when it gets warmer, and that's going to be a few months, uh, we might just come back and shoot this thing again. I mean, even this gun is cold. That's how cold it is out here. And it's going to get colder. They're talking about 35 below wind chills. Uh, that's cold, especially for air guns. So until next time, shoot safe and have a great day of plinking.